welcome back to my channel it's your girl brie make sure y'all like comment subscribe and follow me on all my social media so y'all get notified when i post and when i upload new videos so today i am just doing a extra extra long full set so um well it's kind of like in between extra long and extra extra long because i did cut a little piece off so yeah that's just basically what i'm doing in this set and it's very fun very colorful y'all gonna see but y'all know you gotta start off with prepping and this is just what i'm doing now i already pushed her cuticles back and i just used my sanding band i want to say it's a 180 sanding band that i'm using and i just go in and um you know clean and prep the nail plate and stuff like that so the tips that i am using is these extra extra long i say is are these extra extra long nail me good tips off of instagram if y'all don't know what nail me good is y'all need to go follow me on instagram go check them out these tips are so good like when i tell y'all these tips works wonders like it's just the shaping how the acrylic lays like it's a really really good tip the only thing about it is um you do have to put a little bit more pressure on it like when you're gluing it down but that's really not a big issue because all you have to do is just like hold it down for probably like 20 seconds or more or just put it in a fan and then you'll be good but other than that like these tips are a1 like i love them and yeah so I'm gonna let y'all watch the video. I'm not gonna sit here and talk too much. Um, yeah, so y'all can see in that part, I was just taking a little, a little time to glue it down, make sure it's glued on there tight because I can turn my head and then it'll be off. But you know, it just comes with how much glue you put on there too. So I'm gonna let y'all enjoy the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna pop in here and there just to talk on some things. So yeah. Okay, so I did want to say that in this part, I do always prep the nail tip and not just the natural nail and where the nail tip meets. I prep the whole thing. Um, I just find that the acrylic adhere, adhere, calm down, adheres better if I just prep the whole nail instead of just leaving it like how it is and then trying to put acrylic on top. Um that's just how i do it i don't know if everybody does that from what i've seen everybody do do that but you know you do got some people that don't do that so if you know somebody that has not done it it's not te technically wrong it's just something that people prefer to do so that's all that i'm doing is just prepping the nail tip and the natural nail and where it meets and yeah Okay, so I don't know if I said this in my last video, but I used everything Valentino. Um, the only thing I didn't use that was Valentino in this video was the clear acrylic. And that is, <clears throat> sorry, that's CND. So, um, I'll list everything that I used in the description box or whatever the case is. But I used the um, nail dehydrator and the super bonding. When I tell y'all like this is oh my gosh i can't even talk like these nails last so long like i have people always come to me like oh my gosh i can't take my nails off da, 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 da. like well they could take it off but it's just like you know they're so shocked of how long it lasts and it's because of these products and how you prep as well so i will have a, um a beginner video on just talking about just prepping and actually like prepping the correct way because all this plays <clears throat> sorry all this plays a big part in having your acrylic 
last long, have a last longing full set, and that's what you want. You do not want to be back, get your nails done in a couple days. You know what I'm saying? So, you want something that will last long until it's time for you to get a full in and everything is still on. So, I will have a video on that. Of course, I got so many videos planned. So, um, yeah, that's really it. And then, of course, I use the powders as well. Um, I don't know the name of them. I will try to find them. Y'all, I got these powders so long ago. Like, so, so long ago. Um, I don't even know what collection that's from. Like, like I said, I got that so long ago. But I'm going to try to find them and link them in the description box for y'all. So y'all can try to get them. When I got them, they were a little cheaper. They have gone up on their prices. So, you know, I mean, their products are really good. So, I don't blame them. So, but yeah, that's stuff I'm going to also talk about in the beginner video. Because everybody has to start somewhere with a price. But that's a whole nother video. I'm getting off topic. I'm going to just let y'all watch the video. So if y'all see me like swipe, well it's not an if because I know y'all see it. Y'all see me swiping like a little halfway um, in the nail. It's because I didn't want the pink to go too far down. Um, I wanted it to be like kind of in the middle. I didn't want it to go too far down. So if I feel like it's too far down, then I just do that while it's still wet. And that just get rid of the extra acrylic that's close like a little farther down if that makes sense so i just did that and then um that also helps with blending it out better too so that's just what i did and to start cleaning it up on the sides and always clean the side of the nail because once that acrylic sets and dries on the side there is nothing you can do like seriously like you're gonna have to do some serious filing especially if it's too big or too bulky so um yeah so like i said with me doing the little the pink part it went down too far so i just went back in with the yellow and just you know put it back in there and then still trying to blend it out and then you'll just see me going back and forth just putting both of the colors back um where they are just so i can blend it out more and it can really give ombre but it's not going to really give ombre until you put the clear on top so the clear is definitely going to set it off so but y'all see and yeah
Okay, I just wanted to say that the color acrylic is looser than the cover acrylic. And the cover acrylic is the light pink that is used on the ring finger. So those are two different acrylics. I noticed that, you know, I guess it depends because the cover acrylics is more thicker in consistency versus the color acrylic, if that is making sense. Um, that's really all it is. It's just looser. You just got to know how to like deal with it really and just using the right ratio and stuff like that. So I, it took me a little minute to learn that as well. Okay, y'all, so for this part, how I seal my cuticle, I use a sanding band again, the same sanding band that I use to prep the nail. I use that same one to seal the cuticle and to just smooth it out and just clean up anything that I need to clean up. Um, reason why I do this, I don't use like a fine drill bit or, you know, the metal ones that everybody else uses. Is because in the beginning like I was just scared to cut people so I wasn't really using it like that so I just found this way to be more better and I just never stopped doing it like I just always do this and my work always come out phenomenal and come out how I want it to come out so this is just what I use um yeah I just wanted to say that a lot of people do, you know, different things. Everybody got their own method. Everybody got their own way of doing things. So just because I'm doing it this way, don't mean that anybody else is wrong for doing it how they do it. Long as you seal those cuticles, long as everything is looking good on your end, boo. Girl, you was good, okay? So yeah, I just do this. I just do it like this. And um, yeah, that's all I do. And then I buffed it you know, shape them again and then just start the designing process.
So I realized that um, the other finger was in the way while I was doing this design, so y'all barely could see it. So I apologize for that. But um, I just did this little crisscross design, and then I'm just doing, you know, a little French design again. And then y'all see the rest, and then the rest of the nails are just gonna be diamonds, and I'm gonna go back on the crisscross and put diamonds on.
okay i'm sorry if the lighting keep changing throughout the video i think my camera i don't even know what was going on but i just realized that my camera had died or it cut off like it does that and it's so annoying but it missed the part where i was putting the diamonds on on the other finger so i am so sorry about that y'all see how it looks but i just did the butterfly and then i put the diamonds on and then yeah so y'all see it right now um yeah, so now I'm about to go back and put the diamonds on the crisscross finger. Yeah. 